This is one of my most complimented makeup looks ever and it makes me feel so pretty. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you one of my most not only complimented makeup looks ever, but also one of my most requested makeup looks ever. And it's not only the most requested and the most asked for like overall look that you guys have been begging me to show you um, for months now, but it's also one of the makeup routines and the makeup looks that just makes me feel the most pretty. You know how when you put on a face of makeup or it's like a certain routine and you're just like, oh, this just works for me and I just feel so good in it. That is what this routine is. So it's quite minimal on the eyes, lots of heavy focus on super glowy skin, but like glowy skin that's not sticky or heavy or oily, and it's also long lasting. So if you're an oily skin type like me, you don't have to worry, this is gonna get you through the entire day. First up, we are diving into some skin prep. If you want your foundation to look really beautiful all day and just work for your skin and just, you know, everything just go together really well. You gotta focus on the skin prep. It's really, really important. Got a couple of products here that I've been using a lot of lately. I actually first saw Robert Welsh talking about these. Um, I'll link his Instagram down below. I love Robert. He's like really real, really raw, really... He's an incredible makeup artist. Like he's super, super talented as well. But he was raving on about this serum spray and also the serum from Dalba. And interestingly, I've actually recently learned that this is the number one selling face mist on Amazon as well. So clearly it's not just Robert that's obsessed with it. Everyone's obsessed with it. I personally have been using it for months. You've probably heard me talk about it. If you follow me on like Instagram or TikTok, I've already been raving on about it over there. And Dalba did actually see those videos and they reached out and offered to partner with me for today's video. So thank you so much to Dalva for working with me on this today, it's really exciting. First thing that I noticed about this spray when I first purchased it is it's got like a layer of oil. Being an oily skin type, I was like, I don't know how this is actually gonna go. Am I going to spray this on my skin and feel super oily? Spoiler alert, you will not, don't worry. This is actually a dual layer serum and it's really cool because it's in spray form. So it's a lot easier than, you know, sort of having to put like a serum on your face. I'll give you a little bit of a close up. See that oil floating at the top there? They are actually plant oils. And what you do is you actually shake it to sort of activate the serum and then it mixes through like that. It's called the Dalba First Spray Serum. And what makes this so special is it's loaded with white truffle. White truffle is loaded with antioxidants, really, really good for skin elasticity, really, really good for anti-aging benefits, really, really good for smoothing fine lines and wrinkles. So you gotta shake it first, like I said, to activate. And then you just spritz it over. It smells absolutely delicious. It's also vegan, safe for acne prone skin, hypoallergenic, like everything that you would want in a skincare product. But it just gives your skin this instant glow. They call it like white truffle glow. Instant glow as soon as you spray it. And then I just let it sort of dry down. And it leaves this glow on my skin without being sticky and without interfering with my makeup through the day. It's just, it's a gorgeous product. Obviously you can buy it on Amazon. And then I've been going in extra hard with this second product from them as well. This is the double layer revitalizing serum it's essentially a more intense version of the spray i like the two of them in combination this one gives you 100 hours of hydration but again without being sticky or heavy i usually will do two pumps when i'm doing like you know a full skin prep for a makeup or foundation routine smells incredible vegan as well like all of the same things as the mist oh it just gives you the most Look at the glow. They just look so beautiful on the skin, but they're really, really lightweight. So when I'm wanting in particular, my foundation and my skin to look glowy, but not feel glowy, if that makes sense, like not feel sticky. Uh, these are the two products that I've been using. Being that I am a really, really oily skin type and we're wanting this makeup to last all day long, I'm gonna follow that up with our matte base primer. This is from my brand Akira Cosmetics and I'm actually only gonna be putting this through the T-zone. So this one's got kaolin and clay in it and it activates really, really quickly. Usually I will sort of work it between my fingers, warm it up. You will feel whenever you apply this, it'll start activating on the skin pretty much straight away. I'm just putting that all through the T-zone and kind of just spreading it out, but then patting it in because it's already activated. So you don't want to be like pulling your fingers on the skin. That's not going to work. Now for foundation, I cannot get over this foundation for the life of me. House Labs, literally, please, please, please. If you have not tested this, if you are on the fence, I will link my review video down below. I mean, seriously, the best foundation formula I have come across in probably the last maybe five years. It's really, really high in coverage, but super light on the skin. It just looks so beautiful and natural. Still gives a really nice, healthy glow, but it lasts all day long. One question I do always get asked with this one is, how did I get it here in Australia? 
you can just order it directly off the House Labs website. That's what I did. But if you've seen my review video, I actually had a hell of a time getting it here. It took about three months. They lost my order like four or five times in the warehouse. I was emailing backwards and forwards with customer service and it was just a nightmare, like a complete nightmare. There's a lot of other people that I've spoken to that did not have that experience, that it was like super easy. You know, they got their order straight away. But um, yeah, full disclosure, it did take quite a while to get this to me here. Look how glowy my skin looks. Seriously, those Dalva products plus this foundation, like, and it looks ultra glowy, but this will set down and it will stay in place all day. Like you don't have to worry about your face melting off or transferring off or just, it's seriously the only way that I can get my skin to look like this that actually doesn't feel heavy and like I just want to, you know, wipe my makeup off straight away. It's so good. So Kosas Concealer. I love this. This concealer has got so much skincare in it. And again, it's one of those products that it's like, oh, that sounds like it would be a terrible idea for oily skin, but it's truly not. It just works and it just lasts all day. So I'm putting a little under the eyes, but I'm also going to bring that right up into the inner corner and just brighten up that area as well. Just a little color correcting. So just tapping that gently into the skin and bringing it across the top there. And then I'm going to be actually taking uh, the Benefit Hula Caramel Bronzer and basically just going straight over the top of that concealer. We are not using eyeshadow today. So taking this on a fluffy blending brush, I basically pat it into the lid to set down that concealer first. And then I'll start blending backwards and forwards just to soften out the edges. And bronzers are made to blend really quickly and really easily. So this is a little trick that will work every single time, especially if you're in a rush to get out the door and you're like, oh, I want something on my eyes, but I don't want to bother with eyeshadows. Using a bronzer is like the quickest way to get everything pulled together and look like you've put some effort in. And then I'm taking one of our Color Frost pigments, again from my brand Nikia Joy Cosmetics. These are really cool. They're actually like a white pigment, but they are essentially a multi-chrome. So they switch and shift between about four or five different colors per pigment. Um, a lot of people, I think, look at these and think, oh, that's gonna be super glittery and like super hard to wear and not natural. They're actually really, really super natural depending on how you apply them. So I just basically pick it up on a finger. You can probably see that like it shifts between like a green and a pink, really, really pretty. I'm just gonna pat that all over the lid. See how that's given my eyes like this really soft shimmery sparkle, but without being overpowering, without being like you're wearing glitter. It's just so flattering. And as you like move through your day and everything, it'll softly reflect light and change color as you move. Um, really pretty, really easy too. You can obviously go without the shimmer if you want, but this is like the exact look that I get the most compliments on. So I'm recreating it exactly today. I'm going to create a little half wing. I'm not actually going to trace this all the way into the inner corner. You basically don't want this to go past your pupil. So imagining a straight line like directly from the top of my iris, I'm going to draw that out and then connecting it from the outer corner. I've got quite small eyes, so little half wings are, I just, I feel like have been really flattering on me lately. I feel like doing them this way rather than dragging it all the way from the inner corner helps my eyes look a little bit bigger. So now that those wings are on, I'm gonna go in with a couple of coats of mascara. I've been testing this mascara lately. Obviously, whatever mascara you use for this look doesn't really matter. I just need something that will not smudge uh, and give me raccoon eyes. So this one here is the Clinique High Impact Hi-Fi Full Volume Mascara. Been testing it lately. So far, really, really happy with it. Definitely no smudging. And then I'm actually gonna pop on like a couple of individuals in the outer corner. And then again from my brand, these are our individual lashes. They're basically little clusters of lashes. Hopefully you can sort of see that there. And I'm just gonna pop a couple on the outer corner just to, you know, help my eyes look a little bit more feline in shape. And again, make them look bigger rather than going in with a strip lash. Um, yeah, I've just been really loving these lately. Okay, lashes are on and what I have also done you can probably see is I've put a little bit of mascara uh, through those lashes as well just to really blend them in with my own. Now for the lower lash line I'm just going back in with the bronzer and I'm just going to rub a tiny little bit of this through there and then I'm going back in with my mascara and I'm going to pop a little through. Wow. I say a little bit, let's be real. I mean a lot. Basically loading them up with mascara as well. Okay, so now that the eyes are all done, we're gonna move back into the skin. Still looking so super glowy, but I do wanna do 
almost like a little bit of highlighting through the t-zone just to lift everything back in again with my kosas concealer i love this stuff if you have got any mess to clean up on the cheeks you can put a little bit of concealer back on the skin down here as well and then i'm also popping it through the t-zone and then tapping that into the skin so now i'm going to move on to actually setting this makeup down so that it will last all day I don't think that there are going to be any surprises that I am, of course, using Anna Kedra Cosmetics Velvet Finishing Powder. Um, it is just... It's a game changer. It's a game changer. I'm also using it on one of our little powder puffs here, basically dipping it in, dusting off the excess and pushing it into the skin. This stuff goes a really long way towards really making the skin look super perfect, super flawless. But again, it's not like over mattifying. It's not like over heavy. It'll keep your skin looking like skin, but it'll, you know, really erase any texture. And it will also ensure that your makeup lasts all day. You can see already the massive difference that that has made. So here is my skin before. You can still see a lot of the texture. Here is my skin after. Everything is really smooth and it feels like velvet too. It's really, really soft and gentle. Now for the cheeks, I've been really loving this bronzer from Milani. This is the Baked Bronzer in the shade Soleil. It really looks super shimmery in the pan, but then when you apply it, it's not really shimmery at all. So just buffing this underneath my cheekbones there to add a little bit more structure and a little bit of color back to my face. And also bringing that through my hairline. It's so weird that it looks so glittery in the pan. There's no glitter on the cheeks. I don't know, I don't know how they've done this, but I love it. I've been using it heaps. And it's drugstore and it's affordable, so. Yeah. And then just pinching my brush with whatever is left. And I'm sort of just like dabbing on the sides of my nose to do like a really, really super subtle nose contour. And then also back in with a little of that pigment. Tapping that right on the inner corner of my eyes there. Just add a little highlight. Like seriously, every time I do this, everyone's like, what eyeshadow palette did you use? What eyeshadow palette? I'm like, guys, I didn't use an eyeshadow palette. <laughs> Keeping in line with that dewy you know, luminous skin look. Um, I'm actually going to be using one of the new Rare Beauty Illuminating Blushes. The official name of these are the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blushes. These are gorgeous. They're essentially a highlighter mixed with a blush, but they look so gorgeous on the skin and without emphasizing texture. A lot of the times, you know, like luminous blushes like this, they really emphasize texture. These ones do not. So this here is the shade Love, and I'm just layering that onto my cheeks. See how it adds like this gorgeous flush of color and this reflective sheen, but it's not glittery, it's not chunky, and it doesn't emphasize texture. They're just so, so, so pretty. And again, another product that like, whenever I wear it, I get so many compliments. I love these so much. Um, if you've been on the fence, if you have like me and you've got enlarged pores um, or textured skin, don't worry, these don't actually, like they're not packed with glitter and they don't actually emphasize texture at all. And then lastly, moving on to my lips, and this is the lip combo that gets all the compliments. And every single time I wear this, I get asked again and again and again, what are you wearing on your lips? So lip pencil from MAC in the shade Saw. Saw is like this really, really pretty, it's like a pinky, mauve -y, it's almost got like a little bit of brown to it, but it's not too cool and it's not too warm. Lining my lips with this, and I like to give them a really crisp sort of edge, but then I also fill in the outer corners as well. See how it's just like the prettiest pinky brownie sort of shade? I love this lip liner, honestly. Doesn't get enough hype. And then lastly, to finish off the lips, this liquid lipstick from Maybelline. You guys have heard me rave on about the vinyl ink liquid lipsticks before. They're a liquid lipstick that actually stay shiny. I love these. I just think they're the best thing since sliced bread. Trust me, I love carbs. I love me some bread, especially when I'm pregnant. Like, this is better. And the way that I get this to work really well is I actually scrape off most of the excess off the end of the doe foot applicator and then apply that to the center of my lips. Oh, this lip combo. Seriously, it's just perfect. It's like ombre lips, but without being too obvious. And it just makes my lips look so much bigger than they are. Oh, look at that. The best. I just feel like all of these colors work so perfectly well together. All of these products work so perfectly well together and my skin looks glowy and dewy and hydrated, but it's going to last all day. It's not going to melt off. It's not going to cake up. It's not going to separate. Like we're in it for the long haul when everything just looks really like perfect. So I hope that you guys really enjoyed today's video and found it helpful. I hope that you were able to learn from it. And of course, if you've got any questions about any of the products that you saw me use today, by all means, pop them down below. I just really love everything about this look. Like I really, 
really, really do. I feel pretty. And I think we should all collectively vote that Brandon should take me out for dinner tonight. Because why waste? Why waste the makeup? But I love you guys heaps. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. And I will catch you all in my next one.